plant that grows much faster than the new little plants. It is a big, fat weed. Every day is a new adventure. I mean, and the growth that the kids make at this age, it's incredible. Patty Shannon has been teaching kindergartners or first graders for most of the last two decades. She knows the benefits of full day kindergarten. It's magical, truly. I have taught half day and I have taught full day. And if someone asked me to go back to half day, I would probably panic. <laughs> um, the things that I have time to do now in a full day classroom, it's, it's so unique. Hi. I says, I. I says, Heather Smith teaches full day kindergarten at Pleasant View Elementary. For her, having twice as much instructional time is huge. When we're in a half day and there's limited time and we don't have as much time to go deeper, when they're here full day, they really get to engage deeply with things and work with their peers. And there's much more opportunity for that authentic, independent learning. Can I go nine eggs minus, I don't know how many are left? Nine minus five. That's gonna be a little tricky. Nine minus So kindergarten, in a way, there are aspects of it that it's truly the new first grade, you know, that expectation of our end of the year goals um, is what I used to teach in first grade. A lot of those beginning of first grade skills. I will totally agree with that. First grade, we are expecting a lot out of those six year olds. And so we really need those base level skills learned so that we can then, again, like I said, just continue to expand them. They took a ride on a bike path. Okay, I got it. Are you ready? They took a rid on a big path. No! <laughs> okay. Ariel West teaches first grade. She welcomes half day and full day kindergartners every year. She says the difference between the two groups is striking. Those all day kinders can last a little bit longer compared to the half day kinders. Mm. And then they're more prepared. They know what to expect. They mm. know how long the day is already. And so that they can kind of, kind of get through there. For those of you a little nervous about sending your child to school all day, Mrs. West gets it. She's also a mom with a kindergartner coming in next year. Does your teacher self have to give your parent self a pep talk sometimes? Sometimes, or? yes, I do. Because I'll have to, you know, say bye down the hallway and kind of let her be. So I myself have to kind of break those ties as well. Sure. But she'll be fine. Um, but I know that all all kids can last that whole day. Sure. We just have to, we just have to, you just have to allow them to do it. So it is, it'll be rough and tough and long at the beginning of the year, but that's part of our job. Those students become our kids and we love them while they're here and we help them grow. Yeah. And it's truly amazing at how quickly they adjust and they adapt and they do fantastic in full day. So, I mean, it may seem long, but it doesn't take but four or five weeks and they are in the routine and thriving. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, 12. That's easy. Higher academic achievement, more enrichment, stronger social and emotional skills. That's why these teachers are here. Yeah. I'm so bad at this. No, you're not. You're not. You just got to get used to it. I feel very fortunate to get to spend the day with other people's children, and I don't take that for granted at all. I uh, appreciate that they trust me to have their students here all day, and it is so important to me that I make sure their time here is meaningful and that it sets them up for success. West Ada schools are hosting in-person registration events throughout the month of April. To learn more, visit westada.org.